All right. It's going hard. Yay. All right. What do you got, mate? Mate, he's over the 400. Bring him over. Oh. Huh? Yeah. Well, look at that. What a beauty, Tom. Belter. Yeah. Oh, Lauren's on too. Maybe wait till he really goes. Ah. Let's go. Welcome back to my little box, folks. Well, I am braving the conditions today. It has been blowing for days and days, but I've had enough. I've just decided I'm gonna get out here. So we've pulled into, we're at Venus Bay, beautiful Venus Bay, down here on the bottom of South Australia. And uh, we're gonna go and chase some, I think some King George Whiting today, maybe some squid. And uh, I've got the tinny off. The kids are gonna jump on maybe in an hour or so and hopefully give it a shake. We're gonna be fishing with some bait. We've got some old squid parts of the squid that we haven't eaten so I'm going to throw them on the hooks and uh, try a bit of bait fishing maybe throw some lures around and just see what's out here but boy this is stunning here there's a jetty there so you know what that means we're going to be on that later chasing some squid as well all right let's go and get into it Big King George that I was after, but it's a start, and <laughs> we are braving the weather. <laughs> he just jumped off the hook and out of the boat. Oh well, there wasn't much on that anyway. I want, I want something a little bit bigger. Keep going. Yep, there we go. Mate, it's one after the other here. <laughs> just got to get something with a bit of size about it. Oh, this is better. Double header, here we go. Double King George and Beauty, both legal. Let's go. <laughs> How are you going Mate, I've just caught two on the same thing. Yeah, it's super blowy though, but yeah. Right, well, I'm just waiting on the kids and Lauren to turn up, but what I might do while we're waiting, I'll take you through some of the things that I like to have ready when we're going out fishing with the kids, and uh, just makes for a session that's a little bit easier. I've been learning how to uh, fish with kids, fish as a family on this trip around, and it's been fantastic. It's mean that I've had to put the rod down sometimes and uh, just calm my jets a little bit, but I've enjoyed the, the whole experience, learning and now fishing with the whole family. It's just been brilliant. So. Let me take you through really quickly what I like to do, how I like to set up. Always got bait fishing ready to go and liveys if we can get them. The kids love to fish with liveys and collect the live bait, but today we're fishing with uh, some squid. So I've pre sort of just cut all that up so it's absolutely just ready to put on the hooks. Life jackets obviously a must, so they're the first thing that go on as soon as they step foot on the boat. Early on, it was a real pain to try and get them into this but we just made it out like, oh, you get to wear the special one and uh, we got them over the line and now they're just used to it. So there's no issues with that. Knives are always in the sheets, especially if you're bait fishing. They're not just off to the side because the kids will go looking for them. So they've learned a lot about this stuff already, but I'll have all that out away. What else have I got? Sun cream in here. I've got, where I can, I've got things protecting any of the hooks and that sort of stuff. The net's out and ready to go. Bonnie loves to be on the net. She loves to catch the fish. So if someone's hooked up, she loves to, to do all the netting as well. She'll even hand the rod over, which I think is gorgeous, just so she can net it. 
I've built a space in here for the kids so that they can stand in here securely and safely away. Always got toilet paper on because you never know when they want to go. Plenty of water. That's it, like dry clothing, spare clothes because they constantly just get dirty and wet, whatever. But these little things, now that we're whiting fishing, I'll show you the rigs that we're running with today. These are a pre-made pre little rig and you can make them up yourselves. I've just bought these because it was quick and easy down at the local tackle store. But they've just got a little sinker on the end and then it's like a little Paternoster style rig. Tiny little hooks and that's all we're going to be using today. So. That means that they get two bites of the cherry, their bait stays on longer and you're not constantly telling them to bring their line in. If one's still got bait on it, then I just let them keep going and, and then they keep getting bites like that. So there's just a couple of things. I try to keep everything out of the middle of the boat. Like it's uh, this is only a 3.7 metre tinny. It's a small, small space to operate on with uh, the two littlies and my wife. But um, we put everything away to the side and we can fish pretty well with this. I try to keep them seated, obviously, most of the time, especially if it's windy, they're always seated. And that's about it. Being prepared like this and having things like the bait squared away, the rigs all done on the rod and everything like that just gives you a little bit more time on the water to enjoy and you're not sort of, I don't know, just trying to chase your tail and get things set up when the fishing's already happening. I'd love to hear your tips. If you fish with your family or you've got kids or your nieces and nephews and mates kids come out tell me the things in the comments that you like to do to help get the most out of your session and uh, that'll be a great way that we can all share and make it a better experience for everyone so put that stuff in the comments i'd love to read those here they come they're raring to go so we're going to get out there and hopefully get ourselves some dinner king george whiting hopefully today we've got the baits ready plenty of rods so if one of them gets snapped or we lose something i just pick up the other rod and away we go all right, there's the gear that we're using. So little 2500 size Siennas on, that's a seven foot six, three to six kilo rod. And over here, that's my favorite, my Stratic. There's a little van for there that I'll give to Lauren. And uh, mate, we're away. Hey Dad. You keen? Yeah. All right, Mama let's do it. Perfect. How are we going here, Dad? Oh mate, we're going really good. Really good. You got your special life jacket ready to roll? Do you want a hand, mate? There you go. Perfect, lad. One goes there. Perfect. And then goes at the top there. Oh, what have we done here, mate? Boom, chickadee, boom. Got to get that right. That one goes there. That one's your underside, your little tailie. Do you want your tailie on? Yeah. Better put that one on. No hats at the moment, so what are we do, going to do? Are we going to do sun cream? Daddy, are we going to eat King George tonight that we catch tonight? But Daddy, you didn't do up in there. Yeah, you're a bit chunky with those two on, so we'll just go like that, I think. Make sure that you're nice and warm. All right, folks, it's blowing hard. we got the kids loaded. I've just cut up all the baits in preparation. He's frothing, mate. Let's go and do it. All right, we're ready to roll, rabbits. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, look at that big fish. Look at that, massive. What is that? Wow. Did you see that, Lauren? Whoa, what was that? No idea what, what species that is. So dirty. That's so rank, eh? Oh, it's so rank. Alright, Tommy. Oh, let's have a look, bud. Oh, I'll leave him over the edge, I'll put him in for you. All right, I think I'm on to one. Bond, do you want to wind this one in, chicken? I'll take it. Go, wind. you got to keep the pressure on, chicken. Good girl. Not all the way to the top. That's a girl. Bring him in. It's a one. It's a big one in belly, It's the one, guys. Fish. How good. Wait on, there's a hook there, buddy. Can I handle it? All right. 
what? Can I handle it, please? No. Are you on, mate? Yeah. Tommy's on, all Tommy. by himself. <laughs> How good? All right, now don't wind it all to the top, mate. Wind him up. Go, buddy. You doing it? Yeah. All right, what do you got, mate? Oh, it's a good one. That's a beauty. Mate, he's over the 400. Bring him over. Oh, mate. What do you reckon? Give me a look at that one, mate. Mate, that's up over the 400, that one. Good man! Oh, it's great one. <laughs> it's bigger than one of these ones. Huh? Daddy, look. Well, look at that. What a beauty, Tom. Oh, he's straight back in again. Yeah. Mate, that's a, that's a belter. Yeah, he's bigger. Oh, Lauren's on too. Here she goes. Let mummy have a go, look. Oh, look at him! Oh, that one can go back. Alright, who wants to hold this rod? Me! Alright, there you go, mate. I can see some down there, Dad. Can you, mate? Yeah. It's all happening. I'm not holding a rod at this point. The kids are into it. Lauren's having a crack. And uh, I'm just processing the bait set, set up. So. Uh -huh. Just keep it that. A lot of fun though. Alright, look at Bonnie. She's loving it. Ah! It is, what is that? There's a tangle on here. Wait on, go that way, Tommy. Lift him up. Oh, you got a herring, mate. Herring. How about that? You want to keep him? Well, he can go back in that one. He's got to go back. Good boy. Well done. Oh, the Pacific girl was ready for him. <laughs> Right, hold on to that, mate. I'm getting these hits one now. Are you just having a little relax? Until the fish comes up and I need to handle it. Oh, okay. Here's another cracker. We're about five in with four keepers at this point. So, and we're just going with these little Paternoster pre-rigged setups. And, uh, wow, 30 centimetres. And they are going nuts. There's a feed in this this afternoon for us. Let's keep going. You getting bites, Tom, or not? Oh, mummy's on. Beautiful, Lloydie. Yes, how good. Get the net. Uh, still there? Oh, it's a beauty. Yeah, bring him in, bring him in. <laughs> All right. Not sure if you can pick this up, but we've got a cormorant over the back there. We're fishing along a weed edge, and then there's this sort of broken bottom with weedy patches down through here. Here's our rig, we're running with little bits of squid and those little lumo beads, and a weight in here, a pretty heavy weight to keep it down. There's a lot of tidal run, heaps of wind, as you can probably hear through the mic, but we're just tossing it out onto the broken bottom along that weedy edge. Got a huge big bay as the tide's running out. Huge big bay that's filtering out through this sort of pressured area near the campsite. And then we're just giving it the time. So a little bit of slack line so it can get down to the bottom. And then the kids are having a ball getting all the bites. Or else I'm fishing. All right, can you set the hooks, Tommy? If you're getting good bites, you know oh. how to do it. That's it, keep winding through it, bud. You've got to keep that rope right tip. Are you on? Yes. No, I think he's gone now. You got to keep that pressure on, mate. Seaweed. Like seaweed. I showed you. Yeah. Hold this for a sec. I'll just toss this one back out. Oh. Tangle. God bless these rod tips, I tell ya. <laughs> There you go, mate. Grab on. Oh, you can hold that one. Sweet. Lauren's just set the challenge. She's actually got me. She's seven from nine sessions. And at five from seven, I thought I've got to turn this around. She just nailed me for the last two times we've been out fishing, outfish me. We've got 10 minutes to see who can do get the win. Are we ready to roll? 
I'm going to get in the water first. You just keep filming, Lauren. Oh, are you on, Lauren? No, I don't think so. I think I've got a massive bit What have you got? Bit. She's got something. What is it? She's got a crab. Oh. Bring it in. Bring <laughs> it in, girl. Bring it in. Yeah. He's not letting go. Oh. Who oh. <laughs> wanted the eyeball? Yeah, the crab Funny. wanted the eyeball from the squid. The crab did. Okay, out it goes. Um, All right. I think this is a better Woo. fish, guys. Yeah. He's trying pretty hard. It's fighting with Yes, it, it is. Yeah. It's, yeah. A it's a good one. Let me size him. Let me size All right, that is a cracker. That's about 400. Dad, can I please have it? And dinner tonight. Dad, if you I... don't catch anything, Lauren, this might be one back. Let me size it. All right, go All on, buddy. Kids are going mad. The wind's got into them. It's time to go, I think, Lauren. Yeah, well, let's go and cook up dinner. Oh, God. <laughs> Get your off the I'm frozen to the bone now. We've got plenty, so I reckon enough for tea. And uh, we are just got to get in, clean them, and then we're going to have crumbed whiting and uh, maybe some chips or salad for tea. Chips! <laughs> Right, folks, well, there it is, and the weather's come in, so we're going to cook dinner <sighs> up at the camp kitchen. Can I please have some chicken? Yeah, mate.